This video is about setting defaults for arguments in the functions we create, allowing those arguments to be optional arguments. As we've seen when working with functions from packages, some of the arguments are optional. We don't always have to provide those arguments. And the reason they are optional is because they have default values associated with them or values that get used if we don't provide that argument when we call the function. And these can be useful in cases where we have uh, common inputs that we generally want to use uh, and only want to change uh, under some circumstances. And so we'll go back to the example that we've been working on so far, where we're calculating a shrub volume from the length, width, and height of that shrub. And let's say, for example, that many of our shrubs are the same height. And so when we're in the field, we only collect the length and width of those shrubs and then only measure the height when it's different from this common height. We can take this into account in our function by setting a default height that will be used if we don't provide the function one, so for those cases where we haven't actually measured a height. To do this, we go inside these parentheses where we define the names of the input arguments. And after any argument that we want to provide a default value for, we put an equals sign and then whatever that default value is. And so let's say most of our shrubs are one meter high. Then we can set the default value equal to one. And so now we need to rerun this code so that we recreate the function with the changes that we've made. It's a common mistake to change something in the function and then forget to rerun the function code itself to redefine the function. And so now we can still rerun this function the way we have before if we want to, and we'll get the same results back out. But we can also now run the function with only a single, with only the first two arguments, 0 0.8 for the length and 1.6 for the width. And if we do this, what happens is that 0 0.8 gets assigned to length, 1.6 gets assigned to width, and because there's no argument provided for height, our function will use this default value of 1. And so it's used 1 instead of 2, and we can see uh, that the calculation is half as large uh, because we multiplied by a number that was half as big here. So that's the basic idea behind how to set defaults for arguments in our own functions, allowing us to treat those as optional arguments. We add an equal sign after the name of the argument in our function definition, and then after that, we include the default value. We can then run the function either with all of the arguments uh, that we want or just with the non-optional arguments. And anytime we don't provide an optional argument, the default value will be used instead. I can do it!